In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool effect where we have a bunch of cards stacked and as soon as we click, they will nicely fly out and spread open on the slide. It's a really cool tutorial that adds for some dynamic slides in your presentation. If you want to follow along in this tutorial, this is the color palette that I've used so you can pause the video and add them to your screen right now. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now first I want to go to layout and choose a blank slide so we have an entire blank canvas to work with. Next I want to go to the design tab and choose a nice color palette. So I'm going to variants, colors, and here you can choose or add the color palette that you want. I'm using the bright blue. If you want to customize it with the colors, you can do that here. So I'm going to select it and then start working. Let's right click on the canvas, format background and give it a gradient fill. I'm going for this dark circular or dark radial fill. I think that gives a nice effect on the slide. Next, we're going to add some cards. So I'm going to go for a round rectangle and drag it on the screen, just like this. Make the corners just a bit smaller with that handle here and remove the outline. I'm going to make it blue. And now let's add some text to the slide. So go to text box and drag it on here. You can do numbers, you can do letters or any other title that you want. I'm going to use ABC, go for the font Montserrat, make it white and increase the font size. Center it in the middle and place it on the top of the card. Now I'm going for a sub font, which is a bit bolder. So I'm going to go for a bold font. I think that just jumps out that little bit extra. Now I'm going to copy this text box, make it smaller again. So let's say 24 sub font, we're going for medium and then just type in whatever content you want. I'm going to use some dummy text and let's make it even smaller and expand it so that it nicely fits on this slide. I'm going to copy this once more. And here I'm going to paste in some dummy text as well. Let's make it smaller so it fits the card and you can always adjust the edges if you want to make it more or less close to the edges. Position everything nice like this. And then you can just play around with the settings or the size just until you have that perfect card that you want. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to select everything, right click Control G or Control G or right click group and then paste it on the slide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create some copies. So either Control C, Control V or hold Control Shift drag. I think it's on the Windows or Option Shift drag on the Mac. Then we have the four cards. Just going to place them, spread them evenly. You can also select them all. Go to Arrange, Align and Distribute horizontally. Now I'm going to double click and change the content. So A, B, C. The text is dummy text. You can just add your own and change that here if you want. Then I'm going to double click until I have the rectangle and give it one tint lighter each time. So let's maybe start from the left side, which is the light version. And then gradually we go darker. And then the last one, this one is the darkest one. So we have the four colors that we want. Now, if you want to add some shadow to it, you can always do that. I kind of forgot that, but you can use like a drop shadow if you want. I'm just going to quickly do that and repeat it for the others. So we have a drop shadow right here. Ideally you do it before you copy, but it doesn't really matter. So now that we're here, I'm just going to copy those two text boxes and paste them down. That's a quick and easy fix and just center those in the middle. Let's make it a larger title dollar sit and increase it in size. Maybe let's also make it bold. That way we have some content on the slide. Hey, quick heads up. Do you sometimes struggle to make your slides look great? Well, you probably don't need another tutorial. You need to understand the fundamentals of slide design. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you in my 30 day program. Now imagine you can take any slide and know exactly how to fix it and make it impactful and communicate with power and effectiveness. That's what I'm going to teach you in 30 days. So you'll go through all the fundamentals that every professional slide designer uses. So you can turn any bad slide in an amazing looking impactful slide. But don't just take it from me. Look at the students who've taken the course and the reviews they left behind. It really changes the way you think about slide design and how you communicate. And that is what it's all about. If you want to learn more about this program, make sure to check the link in the description below and sign up now. Let's get back to the video. And now we're going to look at the coolest part, I think, of this tutorial, which is stacking it up and animating it all. So now that we have our basic slide, we're going to right click and duplicate the slide. And on the first slide, I'm going to stack them all on top of each other. Now here we can see that there's an order. So the A is at the bottom, the D is at the top. If you want to change this, you have to do that here. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's say we want to have A up front. What we do then is we just send everything else to back. So send to back. Make sure you send back the entire grouped item. Send to back. And one more send to back. So if we now stack it, we can see, we can now see that the A is up front and it goes down like this. So that's what we want to achieve. And then we're going to duplicate the slide. And on the first slide, I'm going to drag them on top of each other, just like this. But I'm also going to slightly turn them a little bit. So they're like stacked in a more natural way and looks a bit organic. I think that's the 
the coolest effect. Let's do that just like this. You can also position them as you like. I'm going to do it like this and place them slightly higher. That is the second slide. Now we're going to duplicate this one one more time. Just make sure you do it with the final content. That is always easier. Scroll down or scroll backwards. You can use that toggle switch here at the bottom. Select the cards, drag them upwards outside of the slide. And then you can always just drag the different cards a bit further apart and repeat the same for the content, just like this. And now that we have those three parts of the slide, so the first slide where everything is outside of the slide, second part where everything is nicely stacked on top of each other, and then the fourth one where everything is scattered, we're going to select the two bottom slides, go to transitions and morph. And now if you want, you can always rearrange it. So if you want to have it more in a, let's say curved part, arch shape, so that they are a bit scattered on the slide like this, you can just do that and play around with the positioning. That is also fine. Just make sure you don't change the content. And now let's preview what we have. And this is how you create this really cool effect where as soon as you click that the stack of cards drops into the screen, and as soon as you click again, they will nicely spread out on the page. And you can add your own content to the slide, to the cards, that is totally possible. So thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to stop following tutorials and really master the fundamentals of slide design, I have a 30 day program available that you can follow to really level up your skills and become a professional slide designer. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.